Hello everyone, this is Unreal Noob and this is the second part of the Unreal Engine Beginners Tutorial Series of the Infinite Runner and the last time what we did is made sure that um, we are always running in front <coughs> and uh, flows are spawning in front of us so that we do not fall off um, the plane and also for uh, better memory management we make sure that the flows behind us get also destroyed so in this uh, lesson we'll learn how to move left and right uh, just like um, any other infinite runner so let us get started uh, when we load the game uh, this level will not be loaded by default so what we sh can do is like um, click on edit project settings and under maps and modes the it is startup map by default this should be third person example map so make sure to change it with whatever map you have called it for me it is the infinite map I will make sure to do it in both the cases and then go back and um, yeah sorry uh, we also need to go to the input and add two action mappings the first one would be move left the other one would be move right uh, let's say the move left is the A key and move right is the D key so yeah uh, let's call in the event move left and what do we want to do when we are moving to the left so when we are running uh, we are on the center tile by default when the game starts so if we want to move left we want to go by maybe let's say minus 300 or 350 so we want to go whatever our current uh, location is on the Y it is always Y1 let's say because we are moving in the X direction the Y remains always the same so it's Y1 constantly even if we are moving forever so what we want is uh, for the left we want to go Y1 minus let's say 300 and for the movement to the right we want to move uh, y1 plus 350 but we also have to make sure that we do if we are on the center tile we do not move to the left more than y minus 300 times uh, sorry not 300 times y1 minus 300 just one time we don't move more than that uh, if we do we will fall off this floor and same thing goes for the right if we move more than once that is uh, y1 plus 300 and then we add another plus 300 it becomes y1 plus 600 if we do that we will fall off the floor so we have to make sure that we do not um, we are always constrained within this y1 minus 350 and y1 minus sorry y1 minus 300 and y1 plus 300 we are always constrained in it so how do we do that to make ourselves constrained uh, so um, yeah in the uh, event begin play we get the capsule component and we get the relative location and uh, promote it to a variable I have already created the variable called player spawn location you can just create a let me just show it to you anyhow what you can do is just uh, right click on it and promote to variable and call it player spawn location okay so when we click play the game starts and uh, at this very second on the very beginning uh, our location is stored in this uh, vector variable so what do we want to do it do from there like when we press it once we want to set the relative 
location of the capsule component to uh, minus 350 so we want to get the relative location and do a minus of 350 and plug that in and we don't want to do anything with the X and Z but this is not it I just cannot plug this into the Y why because I just told you I can move once and I will move to the left but if I move again I'll just fall off the floor we don't want this so how do we restrain ourselves restrain the player from moving from the floor for that what we can use is a function named clamp float what it does is the value should always be within this minimum and maximum so how do we get the minimum and maximum we already uh, have stored our like uh, spawning values and from there we want to make sure that the minimum that I can go when I press left is minus 350 and the maximum I can go is plus 350 and then plug it to the Y now what happens if I press A more than once I cannot go and fall off this floor uh, yeah so what does uh, so what does this clamp do actually so let me show it to you uh, so what it does is um, when we are pressing um, the A key it changes Y1 to let's say Y2 it changes Y1 to Y2 it changes it Y1 to Y2 and this the what it, the clamp does is it makes sure that Y2 lies between Y1 plus 350 and Y1 minus 350 it just makes sure that A stays between this range and uh, we'll do the same thing for the right as well you will see and the logic behind it is the same as well so let us move to the move right event and we can just copy paste this one like leave the move left out of it and plug it in the only thing we need to change is this minus we don't want to negate we want to add plus 350 to the Y I know I said uh, adding 300 but uh, let's just add 350 and let's see how yeah it is actually perfect 350 is perfect for the moving left and right so as you can see now we have finished this logic of moving left to right and um, now we are moving with the keys but uh, we want to make it for the mobile as well so um, in the next episode I will just um, make sure uh, teach you how to make it such that you can just swipe left and right to move left and right instead of pressing the A and D keys like this thank you guys for watching my uh, tutorial series and if you enjoyed and learned something from this tutorial series please leave a like and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys again and see you in the next one